Firefox Minefield is going to come out pretty soon. Now, you know on Linux, the Firefox is pretty crappy as compared to the other versions like on Windows or Mac. But this one, I, I would say, is way better than uh, 3.0 or 3.1 or whatever. And let me show it off. Now, this one is called Minefield, and I'm using um, 3.6. It's a pre-alpha version, I believe. But I say it's pretty stable as far as uh, me using it. Now they do have this this little um, you know open new tab. I would say it's kind of late now. That shit has been out for like a long ass time in Opera, but it better late than never. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let me <laughs> load some pages here. Now the loading pages, I would say uh, Google Chrome, the one I used last time, is I would say you know I'll give it the edge because that thing was pretty fucking fast. This one is not far off, but uh, I wouldn't say it wins uh, versus Google Chrome, okay? But, you know, you really cannot tell the difference, really. Bang, let me see. You know, everything is, is pretty quick. Not that, you know, much trouble with loading. And uh, they use less memory, um, you know, because you know Firefox is always a, a memory hog but this time I, I feel like it is using less you can actually see in your um, uh, your what is this control system monitor or whatever now they do have the, the private browsing here let me see and um, it's kinda different because they saves your, your tabs that you had open and then it, it gives you this window not like the Chrome where they give you two windows um, and you can use uh, either private browsing or regular. This one it allows you to do this, and then after you're done with your whatever you want to do, you can go back to it. See, stop private browsing, and you go back to uh, your all your tabs that you had open. So that's that's the way they do it, and I, I like it. Let me see. Um, oh yeah, this is probably the thing that I love the best because in Google Chrome you couldn't get flash to work so I couldn't really tell if it was really better or not but uh, in Firefox and if you compare um, the minefield to the, the Firefox 3.0 you'll see that there is a clear difference and I believe this is due to the HTML5 that they have uh, you know hyped up about and the, the hype is worth it uh, I believe this is uh, HTML5 I'm not really sure but if you watch the videos um, on YouTube or, or whatever Hulu or whatever it loads faster so if you click on this shit it plays like instantly I don't see no lag I love it you know cuz um, on Linux flash videos Firefox and all that is notorious it's slow buggy laggy glitchy all that shit alright and it was all true but uh, seems like they fixed it so yeah, even when I click on uh, other you know videos, it plays like instantly, and I I, I love it. <laughs> so that's that. If you are a um, you know you, a person that watch a lot of videos, I recommend getting this shit now. Okay, now this one won't replace your 3.0, uh, so you can use it side by side. If you don't like this one, you can always delete it, and you still have your you know 3.0. So that's a good thing to test it out see if you like it and keep it okay and for the add-ons um, not all add-ons works right now but uh, majority of the good ones work like you know ad block uh, auto pager and all that I believe this one is gonna have ubiquity by default now you know what ubiquity is it's kinda like gnome do for Firefox and it makes um, I guess integration with other s services better so I'll post a video on that if you want to learn what the hell that is but that thing I would say is a game changer for um, as far as the browser wars you know <laughs> um, but Opera they had some new shit too so uh, I'll we'll see who wins in the end but uh, as far as Firefox if you're a Firefox user and you like using your add-ons and all that shit I recommend getting this shit right now I mean they say it's not stable or whatever but uh, you couldn't even tell the difference it's faster it's way better than that fucking 3.0 piece of shit, okay? It loads faster and everything. So I recommend getting it now. Um, and don't even wait. And I'll post a repositories for it. And uh, just get it. That's it.